Oh my god. Hi. Um, what's up? It's been so long. I wanted to do like a catch up video to catch up. I didn't want it to be just like sitting down. So I was like, okay, cute. Maybe I'll do my makeup and like do a get ready with me. But I don't want to put makeup on my face because I'm not going anywhere. And then I was like, okay, cool. I'll do like something in my room. But she's clean. I have nothing to do in my room. And then I don't have a car to go out. I don't, I didn't know what to do. So then I was like, you know, I have like a therapy looking chair in my room, like a long thing. And I was like, why not just have a cute little catch up session with you guys, you know? I wrote down like, a few things that I wanted to talk about um, but yeah I have been gone I haven't vlogged for I think exactly two months so I obviously like traveled and whatever and my last vlog is Bali and it's not even a vlog really it's just like a travel video you know so I haven't really done like a sit down talking to the camera type of vlog since i don't know when honestly but it's been so long um and i miss it i love vlogging so much and it's just this thing about me that if i miss one day of something like if i'm going to the gym religiously and i miss one day that's it you'll never see me again at the gym so it's the same with a vlog like if i'm vlogging and i promise myself i'm gonna be on schedule every single week a vlog is going out and then i miss one it's gone forever like I, I just won't do it anymore i don't know why it's like if i lose a streak it's done so um hey i'm back i was never really gone though you know i've been here but it's just i just haven't been vlogging but also i feel like nothing's been interesting also i'm in my pjs but yeah i just feel like nothing really has been happening and so what was i gonna vlog you know i was like was i gonna vlog myself working no was i gonna vlog another get ready with me no you know and then i feel like i was on such a high from the summer traveling for the first time in years and doing all of that that when i came back i was like now what but yeah just like a cute quick catch up guys what's been going on what's happening i have so much going on in my life but then nothing going on at the same time i don't know if that makes sense i feel like it's a very um our generation type of statement so elephant in the room let's talk about my hair so she's a very flat right now which i'm not a fan of super super flat hair on me i just feel like because my hair is never flat it just looks weird but like i don't like how this is like stuck to my head and i don't like how this is stuck to my head so that's why i just keep parting my hair like on the side even though I'm a middle part girl, let me tell you what happened. Obviously, in every single vlog, every single TikTok, every single everything, it's just the thing that I have white hair. It grows out very frequently. I do it every month, blah, 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 whatever. I noticed that my hair started getting burnt when I was getting my roots done. And the, and the dye was like super strong where I was going. And uh, my scalp, I have eczema. It just wasn't working out. It wasn't cute. And then literally, I felt like if you parted my hair in the middle, here was like so crunchy she was crunchy she was crusty it was not cute so then i was like okay cool let me see if i can do like a home remedy type of thing so i didn't want to box dye because i'm not crazy i know that's not good for you but i also didn't want to dye my hair because i was like i just want it to chill out like i want something natural and then i remembered i used to do henna when i was younger when i wasn't allowed to dye my hair yet but i wanted to have some color my mom would allow me to do henna so obviously at the time my hair was super dark you did henna on top of it you would have like a cute red tint to it and i was like slay maybe i can do that on my roots you know so then i don't have to think about it so then when i want to do my roots when my roots come out i can just put the dye everywhere and then it's just like low maintenance i don't have to worry about like going to the salon and whatever whatever yeah so i did it for the past few weeks i've spent hours and hours watching videos of people using henna on their roots to get rid of white hair because it's just more natural and i don't want to use hair dye anymore because my hair started getting really unhealthy blah 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 blah. so i watched a lot of videos i even learned that if you put coffee in it it helps get a bit more chocolatey and brown and get rid of the orange red tint
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had yellow hair. My hair was like a mix of yellow and like really like deep orange and then some honestly it was giving neon orange at some point as well and then i feel like the burnt areas that were not feeling good got thicker from the henna so then it was just like thick crunchiness it was just so terrible i looked so funny and the problem is with henna you're not allowed to dye over it because your hair will burn off i knew it before i dyed it so should have kind of been prepared but yeah you can't die over it and you can't remove henna you just have to wait till the wash is off i wanted to fix it i wanted to reverse it so then i got this blue thing like a it's not dye it kind of was actually it's like blue dye so you put it on the orange so that it can get rid of the orange tint um it did it became more blonde than orange and then when i rinsed my hair and washed my hair off the blue got on the rest of my hair and then i had blue on my hair so yeah that was on thursday and then on friday sick i was so ill i woke up feeling like okay i was like i feel like i'm getting ill but i'm not too sure whatever then girl it hit me it hit me i had a fever of like 39 point something and i wasn't feeling good and whatever so that entire weekend i was out with that hair as well sweating in my sleep I would wake up so scary my hair was all over the place and it was just not it then when i started to feel better i booked an appointment with this old hair lady that i used to go to since i was like 14 and it seems like i only go to her for her to save my hair from some situation the last time i went to her was when i was blonde and i needed to reverse it and fix my hair because it was completely completely burnt off i had like bubblegum hair and she fixed me and now i was like please help me again so she helped me. So she did my roots, um, like a lighter color so that when my whites come out, it's not super obvious because my hair at this point was like really dark and I didn't want to be, even though I feel like it suits me the best, um, it was just very high maintenance. So she dyed it lighter and then she did a protein treatment on the rest of my hair and for some reason, it made my hair lighter. There's blonde in my hair, but she didn't even highlight my hair. Let me show you. I don't know. Actually, you definitely cannot see it. There's like some random blonde in my hair and stuff. But, girl, the color is the least of my worries because it's so soft. And now, with the treatment, there's like blonde, there's brown, there's like a, I would say like a caramel tint overall. And then you have some green because of the blue. Yeah. Apparently, that one just needs to wash off. So I'm just waiting for that. So that's my hair. I hope um you learned a lesson don't do henna on your hair if you have white hair because it's just going to turn orange and no matter what videos you see online cap cap i watched so many videos everyone's hair turned out so good so glamorous so beautiful and healthy not me also washing that henna out of my hair took approximately an hour like i think i was there for like 45 minutes trying to wash this off and it was such a workout and at some point I was like oh my god I think I have to shave my head because it was like dried onto my hair don't do it you know this is why we have professionals this is why we pay for services because you can't do it get someone who knows how to do it to do it I quit my job yeah 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 remember in April when I or May when I posted a video saying I quit my job and then I got a new job I quit the new job um yeah i've been working now for like eight years was it nine years eight years but i've been working okay i've been a full-time employee this entire time um i've learned that it's it's a no for me absolutely categorically no okay <laughs> like i just can't do that and then i always have been so passionate about my own things that i'm like i want to have the time to Focus on it 100%. I thought about it for a really long time. August for me was kind of rough and also like the end of July just because I really didn't know where I stood when it came to work and like what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. But all I knew was that I was not happy. I just didn't want it. I didn't want to work um, for someone else anymore. And I have really high hopes and 
of dreams and things like that that I want to be able to achieve and I can't do that if I can't spend 110% of my time on my own things. Um, super scary. We don't know if it's gonna work out. We don't know if it won't work out, but that is life. Like I'm willing to risk it and at least say that I tried. So that's where I'm at right now. Maybe in a couple months I'll be like, guys, it worked out. You know, everything's going well. Or in a few months I might be like, you got a new job. But you never know unless you try. And I feel like at this point I was ready to take that risk and let's see where it goes girl wish me luck um but i'm i've been working really hard so i feel like if you work hard and you're being consistent then why not yeah my nails aren't done my nails haven't been done they haven't been done for also two months actually so when i came back from bali um i i had gel nail polish on and then I came back, I did my nails again, and I was like, I feel like I need to cut it, but then I didn't. And then they started to snap off, because it got really weak. My nails are really strong normally, but because of the gel, and then I did gel also the month before that for Portugal, my nails just became really weak. And so uh, I had to give them time to get better. I think they're stronger now. Yeah, they definitely are stronger. This one, she's still a little flimsy, but she was going through it. She's even broken here. But I think I'm gonna do one more cut on my nails and then i'm ready for polish so yeah i haven't been feeling like myself my nails are short no nail polish who is she it's like 2020 2020 cami actually mm, podcast yes so i have a podcast now i launched let me sit a bit better podcast I launched a podcast with my bestie Yasmin. We really loved um, when we would be in like my vlogs together and like talking and whatever. And then we loved doing things like our reaction videos to Ariana's album and Yes And. And then we did like some to like Billy and Sabrina and stuff like that. And then we're like, why don't we just do it like as a podcast? Like, why don't we do it properly? And also like on the Ariana's album reaction video as well, like people enjoyed it as well like in the comments and stuff so we're like okay maybe we could be fun like maybe we could try this out so we did we're doing that it's called jinx we are trying to put out an episode every single week right now it's a little bit tough because we still haven't figured out a proper schedule for it but we're doing that and it's so much fun we both really enjoy talking as you can tell but we also really enjoy like editing snippets and you know, posting these different things on our different platforms. Like we're on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, obviously. And then like the full episodes are like on Spotify and Apple and whatever. But it's been so much fun. We really love it. Um, check it out if you haven't already. I'll put it in the description. Um, but yeah, we're doing a podcast and we talk about everything. We talk about our lives. We talk about pop culture. We talk about just things that we're interested in. And so, yeah, it's been super fun. But that is also... A reason why I feel like with my vlogs I've been confused because I'm talking about some things on the podcast and then I'm like oh I already talked about it here why would I talk about it on the vlog nails done hair done summer oh guys I miss the summer I miss it so much not the weather cuz girl we're in Dubai we still have the summer weather but I just miss the traveling I think, so here's the tea, yeah? Let me give you a schedule of what happened. April, I did Japan. May, I was here in Dubai. June, I went to Portugal, came back, and then literally a few weeks after, I went to Bali, and then I came back. So then, like, it was just, like, a lot of traveling back to back, and I remember going to Bali after Portugal. I was like, oh my god, like, I wish I took a longer break. Like, this is not good like in terms of work i was stressed that they might think i'm being like complacent or whatever but then also like i was just like my body is so confused like with what's going on yeah so then i went to bali and then on the last day coming back i was like oh, i don't want to go back yet like i'm not ready but we did since then i feel like there's been a come down so uh, my body's a little confused and also it's just so hot right now that it's not like you can like go to the beach for fun you know like if you're going to the beach you're stressed because it's so hot and humid but it's giving that will be better in like three weeks or something i don't know girl i'm looking outside and i can feel the heat you know anyway that's on that's on the weather forecast 
And yeah, that's it. Can I tell you my favorite songs right now? Okay, Touch by Cat's Eye. Girl, okay, hold on. I've known of Cat's Eye just because like, I used to follow them on their Instagram. I liked what the girls' vibes were and whatever. So I was following them and then I saw that they had like a Netflix thing. I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. It looks kind of lame. Why did I think it was lame? Anyway, so I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. And then at some point I unfollowed their Instagram because they were like posting a lot. And then I was like, I can just keep in touch without following their Instagram. And then when I was sick, I watched so many things. I watched John Tucker Must Die, 10 Things I Hate About You, 500 Days of Summer, Coyote Ugly. I've been watching Raven's Home. Girl, I watched a lot of things. And then I was like, let me see what this pop star thing is about. It's my favorite thing on Netflix ever. I was hooked. I love it. I loved all the girls actually. They were all so cute and sweet. And it was just so nice. I loved it so much. If you haven't watched it, watch it. If you're into like performing arts, like singing, dancing and all that, you have to watch it. It is really good. And I was just like, damn, what, what a dream. Like I would love to be one of those girls. Like dancing from 8 a.m. to like 8 p.m. Doing singing classes, training, all of that. What a life. So yeah, I've been obsessed with Touch. That's one. Oh, Alibi by, by Seb Dadiza. Slay. Girls by The Dare, Obvi. My battery died. So what I was trying to say was my favorites from Sabrina's album. I would say Good Graces still. The bed cam and Juno. I woke up yesterday with Juno stuck in my head and then I opened my Instagram and I saw Selena Gomez posted a story to Juno and I was like, that's so trippy. I was literally dreaming about the song. And yeah, Slim Pickens also is just like my favorite. I just say my least favorites is easier to say. Dumb and Poetic and Light of Girls. That's it. Those are the only two that I'm not really very into but everything else slay love what a great album so cute that's all my favorite songs right now and obviously i've still just been listening to cxoxo it's just it has been a chokehold i don't know when i'll be okay so far i'm not did i show you i got the autographed version of cxoxo hold up here it is this is the obviously there's no autograph on it and then you open it you have this whole drama and then oh, there. Do you see it? She posted on her story like months ago. I think before the album even... Yeah, before the album even released. And I ordered one for myself and one for Yasmin. And it came... I think when we came back from Portugal or something. Because then the album had been out. Or the album was coming out. I don't remember. But we got it like a week after the album came out. So... <laughs> so now, I want to do something. Where like I want to frame all the autographed um vinyl that i have i don't have so many but i have like slay ones like i have camila now i have young blood um sabrina from her emails i can't send album i have mgk but mgk is a cd it's not a vinyl but still it's so cute and he did it in pink which is amazing and madison beer as well so those are like the autographed ones i want to do something with them because i i'm so scared that they're just like sitting in there and young bloods is not even like a um it's not just like an insert is that a word i don't know it's not just like a paper he did it on the cover so i'm scared that it's gonna get damaged but i'll figure that out maybe we'll do like a cute little but uh, that is it those are all my updates i spoke for over 20 minutes so you're welcome if you enjoy talkative ones if you don't enjoy i'm so sorry I need to figure out what type of videos I want to do. I obviously love sitting down and talking, but I feel like they can get a little repetitive or a little boring, especially for me, considering there's the podcast as well. I'm figuring it out, you know? So that's it for now. Thank you so much for... <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, share with your friends, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in my next one.